Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Put you to sleep. No doubt about it, he will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. Let's get it started. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 154 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Merciless. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 242 pounds. Fighting out of New York, Iron. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time. We'll be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. They touch gloves, and we are underway. So here we go with round one, classic matchup of striker versus striker. These guys have both faced a lot of grapplers in the past. They like the draw tonight. Oh yeah, they love seeing an opponent that will not be trying to dive at their legs. They know when they get to the center of the octagon, the only step back they will take is if they choose to move out of range to re-enter back into the striking realm. It's a very comforting thought for both of these competitors. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. That was the end. Nice strike. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Put your hands up higher. Big roundhouse now just misses. Single collar tie now. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Oh, he moved right into the kick there. A kick to the head lands, and he's shown a susceptibility to that in fights prior. You can't lean into those power shots. Let's see if he can circle out and make the adjustments here. Nice punch lands over the top. Way to hide that leg kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. Nice head kick. Nice hook lands. Kick lands, he's hurt. And a knee. Big punch from the clinch. Oh, now he's got the tie from Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You gotta start digging your shoulder to a side and then trying to shove an underhook. You cannot bend down to try to get out of Muay Thai clinch. And he caught the kicks. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Big kick land. 
All right, so both fighters now sort of struggling for position here in the clinch. When you find yourself in this situation, what do you do to get out of it? Anytime it's very tough. Anytime you're chest to chest, you have nowhere to go, I think to myself, underhook. Whoever's winning the underhook is winning the clinch battle. Outstanding knee in the body there. He's the taller fighter. Might as well put that size to good use, and he certainly did so there. Big punch lands through the middle. It mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. His opponent's got him in the clinch. He needs to break away and get back to his range because he's taking punch after punch from his clinch position. Oh! And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Oh, nice. All right, single collar tie now. And they separate. Oh, well done to block that powerful kick to the body. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. And they separate. Big kick lands. Got the single collar tie. Just misses there with the left. Good punch land. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Well, he's oh! Start looking to finish now because he's got to be very bad. Back to the feet. Battling for hooks. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Trying to stay in this fight. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? So, under 30 seconds to go in what has been a pretty entertaining and active first round. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Nice body shot. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. All right, so a big round for him there, maybe even a 10-8. There was a big knockdown in there courtesy of the kick. DC, talk us through it. He found his spot. I mean, he knew that there was a weakness. He found the spot. He recognized an opportunity to go and chase down that head kick. He threw it, it landed, and he almost got the finish. Look at him chopping the woods. Chop the woods with those leg kicks. Look at him dig that body shot right up through the corner. You got to check these low leg kicks. Whiffs on that offering. Good job keeping that head off the... Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, nice right hand. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may float a right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on... Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Big knee there to the chest. That one appeared to stun him. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, big left hook there. Oh. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. 
All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a cool here. Oh! Yeah. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Look at that great work to the body from the clinch. Nice little shot. That'll do it! He's done, he's done! Again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught. He wanted to make sure he kept the judges out of the equation. Mission accomplished on that front as he gets the TKO victory here tonight. So a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the victory by TKO. Huge result inside the Octagon tonight. We now go inside the Octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Let's call the stop to this contest at two minutes, 17 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO. Well, can you imagine what the celebration is like in his hometown right now after he gets the TKO win tonight? He said he wanted to leave the judges out of it. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. He left the judges out of it. The judges could have went to the concession stand because once he got his opponent hurt, he was not going to stop until he got that TKO.